Hi, welcome to Atlanta. My name is Linda Harrell, and this is my restaurant, T-Boy Bebe. Come on inside, let me show you around. So, this is our wonderful dining room, and our zinc bar where all of our customers enjoy all of our delicious food and cocktails. I'm going to take you back to my kitchen where all the magic happens. What I'm going to show you today is one of our more popular dishes, goat cheese panna cotta. Uh, the reason I came up with this dish is in Atlanta, people seem to enjoy eating fried green tomatoes with goat cheese and pepper jelly, and I wanted to do something like that, but make it a little Italian. So what I've done here is I've created a goat cheese panna cotta that uh, has a lot of fun little ingredients. What I've got here on the stove is I've got half and half and heavy whipping cream that I'll let get hot. Once it's hot, I have this delicious goat cheese from uh, Vermont uh, Creamery, which is just a really nice texture for making this goat cheese panna cotta. So I'm going to add the goat cheese in, let it melt. Into the liquid. Some pepper. I kind of like to do a little play on those little logs of goat cheese you get at the grocery store where it's got all the cracked black pepper. So I put a lot of pepper in this, but you know, not too much. And then I put some salt, get everything mixed up. And when all the goat cheese is dissolved and it's nice and hot, I have some uh, gelatin sheets that I've bloomed here. I take the gelatin sheets and I put that in, let that dissolve. And this dessert, I mean, <laughs> this dessert, and it's so delicious, you can eat it for anything, really. But uh, when I make this panna cotta, um, it's so easy for anybody to make. Everything is dissolved. And then what I do, just take any kind of uh, container or a little ramekin like this, a little plate dish, and um, just put your panna cotta mix in there. And then you put it in the refrigerator. Let it set up for about uh, four hours. And then what I do, I serve it with the fried green tomatoes, uh, and like I said, the pepper jelly, some Marcona almonds, and I make a bacon gastrique, which is really delicious with maple syrup and apple cider vinegar, and of course, delicious smoky bacon.